Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and I wanted to talk about the new Warframe Augment mod that came with Citrine during this latest update. The mod is Recrystallize, and just reading it, it already sounds insane. Let me let me read it, okay? Recrystallize Augment. Enemies killed by recrystalline growths stagger and spread the crystals to enemies within 16 meters. So anything within 16 meters of your fourth ability that gets hit and crystallizes, once you kill them, it pops your ulti 16 meters around that freaking character. So pretty much you're never going to run out of your Citrine ultimate ever again, unless you kill enemies too fast and have to wait for them to respawn, which to be fair is a common Warframe problem. So you're able to see, recrystallize the augment mod, I bought it, threw it on, and this is the general build I'm using. All four of these augment mods because Citrine has her second, no, third ability that can throw on every status in that regard. Adaptation, swap it with Rolling Guard if you want, just in case. Augur mod and Intensify Umbral mod there. A little bit more duration, nice to have more strength, but recrystallize there, and of course, I would always want some range with that. And I took extra range with Cunning Drift, but you can take whatever you so choose, whether that is more strength, more whatever. And then I have Corrosive Projection for enemies to lose armor. If you wanna swap that out, you can always swap it out with like Brief or Spite, something to be more, uh, I guess, defensive, or you could do something like Steel Charge, or if you want Rifle Damage, right? Or mod, whatever you want. And then I should say my Arcanes, Energize and Augmented, because I do want to have more strength, it just ramps up a bit, and I always want to have more energy. This can be swapped out though because of Citrine's general kit where she gets a ton of energy from her first ability with all of the energy orb drop increases, but if you still like energy uh, Arcane Energize, then keep it, because I still do. It's not like your first ability is the highest amount of energy orb drop, but hey, whatever. It's not a big deal. I wouldn't really care too much, but you can always swap this out if you want. Something like Arcane Grace if you want more defensively, or something else for more damage, right? Yeah, Arcane Tempo, get those shotguns. So that is my general build. Let's take a look and see solo in Steel Path exactly how good this new Augment mod ends up being, okay? Let's find out and that should be interesting, okay? That should be interesting. <laughs> We're gonna run Void Mott, Steel Path, and you're gonna see exactly why this Augment mod is so, so good, okay? Life support has been cut off. Okay, so now that we're down chilling in Void Mott, throw on my abilities, and you'll slowly see why this is so good. So I shot that guy, right? Within 16 meters. There, everyone is crystallized. Every single person around me already crystallized now. Okay, throw my third ability. Look at that. You don't have to worry about it. You just shoot, shoot the crystals, okay? All you have to do, you throw out your first ability once in a while, continue going there, and you're good to do. go. You essentially never have to resend out your fourth ability, as long as you just have a steady amount of enemies coming and going. And I like it. I think it works really well. Let me know what you think, because I'm kind of curious. But like, look at this. Citrine is just farming now. Doesn't even matter. She's just farming, dude. Look at this. And then the enemies down here, absolutely just farming. So you can just chill here the entire time as Citrine and just shoot enemies as they come around. And the recrystallize will keep on going. So you really do not need any more range, I would say, other than the Archon Stretch and the general maybe Cunning Flow, Cunning Drift. I can't remember what the uh, mod is called, technically. Yeah, you don't even need that much. And then once in a while, maybe you'll have to find someone if it doesn't travel and then shoot them. That's all you have to do. You know, you feel, you, you picking up what I'm throwing down? Oh, I need to re-hit my second ability so I don't die. Always a struggle. Always a struggle. And then you just try to shoot all of the crystals on the enemy and recrystallize them all. Jump down here, shoot them all there, go back up here. I just don't want enemies spawning back right, like right here. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's why I'm sticking over here. This is a closed door, so it's nice. They all just come around here. You throw your stuff on them. 
and then boom, recrystallize everyone in a X radius. But you have to remember the 16 meter radius with recrystallize works with range. So my range is 25 meters. I don't know if I remember to show that off before. So I have a recrystallize range of 25 meters right now. It's, it is important to note, augment mods like this generally stack with either strength or range. And since this one uses range, it properly stacks with range. So yeah, just go into a nice area where you're able to stack it up a lot on the enemies. And then you're almost always having a good time and just taking them out one by one since it adds a ton of damage. And then it ramps up even more as Molt Augmented builds up because that's what I have on. So I'll pause it shortly to show you when I'm ramped up to maximum Molt Augmented, exactly what the damage is looking like. There we go, we ramped it up. Not even bothering hitting them with my first ability because like I just don't want to. But if you need more energy orbs, if you need more health orbs, if you're running something like Equilibrium for any reason and you just need more of that, go for it, right? Just go for it. It's always good to have more energy health orbs floating around if you ever need it. Still losing my life support a little bit. So, you know, that's just how it is. Just kind of showing everything off right now. Ooh, look at that. And then just recrystallize, recrystallize, recrystallize. Keep doing that until everyone's dead. And you can hit your fourth ability if you want to like instantly crystallize everyone around you. But you don't like need to, right? So that's the nice thing about it. I have adaptation on, so I'm just floating around on reloading and doing that. There we go. You can go out here. It looks like there's a lot of people stuck here, so I can just chase them all. Chase them all. They all die really easily. And then, yeah, the crystals spread all the way out here because of the mod. They might... Nope, there's still some back here. I was like, they may have fallen off from the guys back here, but it looks like we're still good to go. So it's pretty much a way to keep your fourth ability active forever, as long as there is a good amount of uh, enemies just chilling. And it works really well, okay? As, as, a, as a user that have, has used it for a handful of missions now, yeah, seemingly it works really well. So I would say everyone should give it a shot if you like Citrine, if you main Citrine, if you enjoy doing a ton of damage to enemies' faces via crystals, because, ooh, look at that. Look at that damage. You wanna see uh, how well it works on your boy over here? On Malice? Well, I mean, he'll just die because we'll just crystallize everyone, right? Shoot him around there. And poor Malice nuked me in instantly. Holy crap. I'm not bothering coming back up. Even with all the DRN adaptation, yeah, you can still get nuked by him. Oh, well, I try. I try. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was hilarious. I didn't have, I don't have rolling guard. I'm rolling adaptation. So I don't have like eye frames or anything like that. But hey. My abilities are a lot stronger. I forgot to check it out when I had Mold Augmented. But you can essentially do, uh, I'd say, like drop that up. You get a near 200 to 210% strength with my build, right? So it's not that bad. You'll still do a lot of damage. You just have to remember to try not to get nuked and everything like that. And if you want, as always, swap between Rolling Guard and Adaptation if you need invulnerability frames, if you're doing higher level runs, if you're doing lower level runs, however you prefer to play, it's always dependent. But of course, generally using stuff like Adaptation is just good for survival. With uh, Citrine, you have 90% DR when stacked up, your second ability maxed out, and then you have even more off uh, Adaptation DR, and it works with Shield, so I mean, I guess, you know, it all helps out a little bit. So you go from there and just start killing all of the enemies, and that's how it goes. Because you have to remember the insane amount of damage increase you get off your fourth ability is just mwah, magnificent, right? You get... Without even hitting it, yeah, you just get 300% crit chance and some damage, so... Strength doesn't affect this one. That's why we don't go hardcore into strength on Citrine, right? We just do a little bit. But if it did, yeah, it'd be pretty insane. Either way, Citrine is a lovely Warframe, and I will continue to play her. And now she's even more godly, and you'll just have to barely even use Crystallize. So it's more of a quality of life easy mode uh, mod, but it makes it so you almost never have to use your fourth. So it's just great. I love it. It makes your fourth more of a passive. All for it. And now everyone's crit chance will go through the roof and start absolutely destroying enemies. So you have a better build team build Citrine now. Love it. Good job. Thank you. Pog, 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 pog.